what is going on today people what we're going to talk about is those first few years in business you've done the hard work you've figured out a niche you've got yourself together and you don't have anyone to talk to because you're the only one in your crew the only one in your circle who is putting together a business you feel alone you feel odd you don't know what's supposed to happen well <clears throat> i'm about to hip you to what's going to happen let's talk about your first year the first year that you're in business you've got your shingle put up you're getting customers your marketing your advertising and things are happening crazy stuff is happening and you're wondering like is this stuff supposed to be happening because there's no one to tell you that yeah this is normal no this isn't normal uh, this is par for the course I'm here to tell you the strangest thing is going to happen. I don't care how tight your business plan is. I'll give you the story of something that happened to some friends of mine. They had a financial company that was predicated on some government rules. They were making a lot of money. They were doing really well. Guess what? The government changed the rules and overnight they were out of business. This is why I am not fond of starting any business around anything that's government based because they can change it. They didn't see that coming. There was no way they could prepare for that. You could be in your business, making money, rolling hard. And I, I'll give you another example. A friend of mine, he had started a retail, a physical location, uh, consignment shop for furniture. When they did the build out of the building, he had this nice counter put in. And when the city, you know, the building inspector and the, here's the thing, whatever the fire inspector says is going to carry more than the building inspector. If the fire inspector signs off, the building inspector will sign off typically. And they came in and they looked at that counter and they said that counter is too tall to satisfy the requirements for the Americans Disabilities Act that counters must be a certain height. If you ever go anywhere and you'll notice you see similar dimensions of a checkout counter of how a store is laid out. There's a reason for this government regulation. So he didn't see that coming. 1700 bucks had to rip it out and put back in another one. Your first year in business is going to be crazy. First of all, here's you who had a job last year. You're doing your own business. You're doing your own thing. Um, it's strange because you're in this position where if you do not produce, you don't make any money. And this is very dissimilar to a job which you can sham or hang out or just kind of show up and barely do the minimum to keep your job. This is one of the things that's going to happen. So, uh, for those of you who, oh, need a little help, I got something for you in just a minute because I did not set it up. I don't know why I didn't set it up, but let me just scream at you guys for a minute. If you are starting a business, 
I want you to get the Money Management's The Basics of Finance and Wealth Development. This course contains the five checking account blueprint, which will help you tremendously when starting your business because your personal finances are in order, then two, your business finances will be in order. This is a killer game plan. So just go ahead and get this, go to money, profit, income, and get the money managers, the basics of finance and wealth development. So get that. Also, for those of you who are having issues with uh, getting stuff, the, the problem has been fixed at hustlerskungfulifeskills.com. You can go there and get anything you want. The links are below the stream. Uh, for many of you who want to start a business, I suggest you go ahead and get 30 days to 2,500. And also coming up this Tuesday, May the 7th, we're going to have a webinar for the art of holding. Uh, some people have signed up for that. So we're going to be going over those things. So if you got any questions about holding companies, how to sell your LLCs, you want to go ahead and grab that. Just saying. Now, let's talk about that first year. You'll, you'll hear many people who will say that, you, you have to make a profit or you, 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 your, your goal is to make a profit, but the internal revenue service, amazon.com went eight years without making a profit. So, you know, that's pretty interesting. Um, your first year, you're gonna be sorting out your schedule you're going to be sorting out where the business fits into your life, meaning that, you know, for those of you who, who still want to date, that's going to be interesting because depending upon the woman that you hook up with, depending on where she is, she could be very proud of you. She could be very impressed by you that you've gone out and you create your own business and you making a go of it. Or she could be one of those chicken heads who can't, cause she can't brag to her friends that you got this big baller business. She can be a toxic girlfriend. Once again, she could be a toxic girlfriend. This isn't someone who is about helping you get to the next level. It's about their ability to say what you're doing and how well you treat them. They looking for bragging rights. They're not looking for girl. They're not, you know, girlfriend support. Just, just not there. So the first year of business, odd. And, you know, we should talk about dealing with a few mental issues. Your first year is going to be hard. It's supposed to be hard. This is the norm. It's supposed to be hard. Know that. And typically your second year is going to be hard, not as hard. And the third or fourth year is going to smooth out. If you can hang in there two to four years, it's going to look very different from year one. Business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel. They'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, 
I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming a Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done. How to, what's the priority? What's not priority? This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. 
Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2500 is a long course, it's going to take you about two months to go through it. But it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because. From a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 Days to 2500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner. But essentially taking those lessons derived from that course. You got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course. And who want to talk to me? Uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This is like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, 
Believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first blow the money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.